Hey guys, so thank you so much for staying with me here on the part 2 of this um, day 1 training module. Now we are still on the tools um, for remote industry and we're done with... Um, just give me one sec. We're done with the internal uh, chat collaboration tools on the first part of the video. So, I explained to you. Now, let's go for online project management tools. So, how is it important in doing a virtual or in having a virtual or remote work to utilize the project management tools? Yung project, ma um, project management tools, ito kasi is one of the core ingredients of the virtual or remote industry why because the our i mean the managers will need to send tasks to her or his team members okay so magbibigay ka ng mga tasks or to-do list mag assign ka and other than that you also need to provide deadline or schedules tama diba so may timeline yan magbibigay ka ng a uh, bunch of tasks or um tiny increment of the huge tasks, kumbaga, you will create or you will chunk the huge or um, a large task into a tiny increments that is doable by your team, tama? Now, um, as a manager, you have to distribute those tasks. Sino ba yung gagawa nito? You have to assign it to um, different people in your team. Kung ikaw naman ay team member, uh, ma-hire ka as a team member, of course, you will need to gather all of your set of tasks from your manager. Ano ba yung mga dapat naka-assign sa'yo? And hindi lang, yun, um, hindi lang yung mga specific assignment. There are also tasks that you need to collaborate with your team members. Kumbaga, task dependent. So, gagawa ka ng something but then again, yung isang team member mo is waiting for your output. Kasi hindi nyo pwedeng simulan yung task niya without receiving the output of your own task. ba? Kasi dependent yung task niya dun sa output na ibibigay mo or ipuproduce mo. So that is task dependencies. San mo ba lahat makikita yon? It is within inside the project management tool. Nasaan yung mga resources? Nandun din. Paano ka magko-communicate sa mga impediments na nagkakaroon ka? Um, doon sa task na inassign sa iyo kung bakit hindi mo siya matapos-tapos. Of course, there's a lot of impediments that can happen, especially if there are missing resources, especially if um, if the task itself is not very well communicated. Kung merong misunderstanding. So that's the reason why yung ng English communication skills is very important too when it comes to virtual or remote industry kasi 'di ba? You are working in a, a different time zones, different countries. So Kung hindi ka, hindi maganda yung communication skills mo, there is a huge possibility na ma-misinterpret ka yung, yung choice of words mo na sinabi mo sa team member mo if you're a manager. Pwedeng ma-misinterpret nila and then what will happen is they will produce an output that is not the one you are expected or your client is expected to receive. So, ano mangyayari? Repeat. Okay? Repeat na naman yun. It's a waste of time. So, saan nyo ba dapat i-collaborate yung mga ganong um, task related. Hindi siya sa internal chat tool na katulad kanina. Kasi sa internal chat tool, ang pinag-uusapan lang dyan is yung um, input right away. Kumbaga, may question ka, you need an immediate answer. So, hindi kayo naka-schedule ng meeting. Walang meeting scheduled for that day or for that specific time. Pero kailangan mong tuloy-tuloy gumawa because the other tasks are dependent do sa ginagawa mo. Hindi mo siya pwedeng i-pending, hindi mo siya pwedeng i-delay. So, saan mo ilalagay yung um, impediments mo, kung paano ka magkakommunicate sa team member mo, kung ano yung mga issues, or ano yung mga kailangan mo pang hingin sa missing resources, or saan mo makikita yung tam timeline or deadline, saan mo makikita yung to-do lists mo at to-do list ng team members mo na related dun sa task na ginagawa mo. Lahat yan nasa project management tool. Bakit hindi siya pwedeng ibigay? Bakit yung manager is hindi niya pwedeng ibigay yung to-do list mo through chat lang? At bakit uh, hindi niya pwedeng Sabihin sa iyo, ito ang deadline nito. Why? Because in a remote industry, it's an actual office-based work. Masyadong major yung mga ginagawa nyo dyan, especially if you're in marketing or IT or finance. Mga importante yan. So guys, ang nangyayari, kapag dito ka sa chat tool, nagbigay ng task as a manager, at dito rin, halimbawa as a team member, dito mo hiningi yung task mo through chat, natatabunan kasi yon 
nagkakaroon kayo ng daily communication, bunch of communication actually in a day. Every minute, every hour, nag-chat kayo dun sa group chat na yun. Ng mga, um, probably, um, mo- most of the time work-related. Sometimes, mga chit-chat lang. Um, na parang kausap mo lang sa tabi mo, yung like kwentuhan. Um, most of the time naman, collaboration. Natatabunan yun. So, how can you keep track of it? The only way for you to keep track what's going on is to use the project management tools. And inside that project management tool, meron din yung mga analytics. Okay? May mga data din yun na tinatrack yung progress ng project mo that will help your manager um, to identify kung nasa na kayo, ano na yung progress ng project. And kung uh, for, for her or for him to predict or forecast kung saan kayo papunta. Are you already out of your way, out of the path? Hindi nyo na ba mamimit yung deliverables? Ma-achieve nyo ba yung goal? Dun yun sa project management tool. So, you have to use and utilize the project man- management tool um, pagdating sa ganitong industry. So, you have to be familiar sa top project management tool that are most commonly used in this kind of setup. Okay, so, marami guys, maraming PM tools or project management tools na ginagamit, but I just picked the top nine. Kung saan, mas majority of the time kapag na-hire kayo, ito yung mga um, maaari nyong ma-encounter most of the time or majority of the time. So, number one is Trello. Trello, uh, ito muna guys. Um, ang Trello, okay, Trello, Gyro and Confluence, Teamwork, um, Basecamp, Yan, yung tatlong yan, Trello, Teamwork, Jira, and Confluence, magkaiba yan, Jira, Confluence, magkaiba yan. So, dalawa yan. One, two, three, four. And then, Basecamp. So, five. These five are more com- are most commonly used kapag ang business industry ni client is IT. Okay? IT or Software and Apps Development or Software Development. Kung agency, kung meron siyang agency na software and um, software development, nagde-develop sila ng software or automations, ito yung kadalasan na uh, may encounter mo na ginagamit nila. Trello, Teamwork, Jira, and Confluence, Basecamp. Um, specifically, kapag hardcore IT or had- hardcore software development, Jira and Confluence, because the feature of these project management tool are focused on tracking, um, breaking down, um, the project development life cycle into tiny chunks. Um, meron siyang features para ma, um, ma-set up mo yung deliverables, yung timeline, and then confluence for bug reporting, and then um, QA testing. So, yun yung focus ng feature niya. Trello can also be used in marketing, as well as Basecamp can also be used in marketing too. Um, most of the time, Basecamp kasi it's better, it's great when it is being used as a, a client-facing project management tool, which I'm going to discuss in depth sa future videos natin. Now, um, if your client is running a marketing or ads agency, marketing agency, most likely ang may encounter mo is Asana, ClickUp, pwede rin Teamwork, pero bihira, Airtable, yan, Asana, ClickUp, Airtable, Monday.com and Bitrix. Okay, Bitrix, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, let Let's wait until it was removed. Because lumalabas yung. Okay, ito na si number nine. That's Bitrix. So Bitrix has a um, meron siyang project management tool um feature. Okay, pero Bitrix itself is a CRM. Okay, mamaya, didiscuss ko kung ano ba yung CRM. Now, Bitrix is a, itself is a CRM, but it has a built-in project management tool na pwede mong gamitin. So, Bitrix is focused on sales, uh, funnel, marketing. Yan ang main feature niya na ino-offer niya. And then, we have Monday, we have Airtable, ClickUp, and Asana. So, Asana kasi, it has a limited free feature. While ClickUp, itong ClickUp, it's a combination of the features that you can get from Asana, Airtable, and Monday. Great, di ba? Um, si ClickUp, iba yung may-ari sa kanya, but they thought to incorporate these three in one tool para mas malaki yung kanilang market. Okay? Um, yung market domination. So, yan yung may encounter nyo kapag marketing. Um, teamwork, minsan-minsan, ginagamit din siya sa marketing or ads agency. And then, what else? Okay, 
uh, na mention ko na. So guys, itong Trello at sana click up um air table what else? Um uh, Monday. Oh no, 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 not Monday. At yung may mga free free uh, subscription. So pwede kayo mag-sign up ng free access, limited nga lang yung features um para ma-navigate nyo. So you can sign up a free account for Trello as sana click up um and Bitrix. Okay? For the rest na hindi ko binanggit, katulad, ah, hold on. A Sana, ClickUp, Airtable, Bitrix, and Trello. Those are the ones or project management tools that you can sign up for free. Meron siyang free features and the other features are paid. But yung Trello kasi, it's uh, rich with features. Pwede kayo mag-add lang ng add-ons that are free and marami kayong may utilize. That's the reason why there's a lot of companies who really love using Trello. That's why it's the number one go-to when it comes to project management. But guys, ang uh, preference kasi ni client is yung feature ba ng project management tool of my choice, does it support the operation of my business? Kasi kung hindi naman kahit gaano kaganda pa yan or free, hindi, sila mag, hindi nila pipiliin yun. They're gonna go for um, a PM tool that supports uh, or that has features that supports their business operation. So, ganun yun, guys. Now, um, what else? Airtable. Airtable, guys, um, ang, ang user interface nito is it's like an Excel or spreadsheet na uh, high-end. Okay? High-end siya. So, if you are doing like order management or if the client is doing order management, um, fulfillment for the e-commerce businesses, um, I did discuss ko yung e-commerce businesses and what what is this later on sa mga future videos natin. But then again, guys, for your clients who are focused in e-commerce, yung merchandising businesses na nag-aangkat ng products sa China, physical products, and then siniship nila dun sa mga nag-order in different parts of the globe. Yan, merchandising. Okay? Um, karaniwan, kailangan nila ng order management. Okay? So, for order management, kapag manual, or probably they are, they would like to set up an automation itself using a PM tool. Meron ako mga client na ganyan. Um, their go-to is an Airtable and ClickUp. Because as I've mentioned earlier, ClickUp is a combination of Asana, Airtable, and Monday. Okay? So, that is their go-to. Kasi, para ka lang ding, para ma manage mo yung orders, it's like, you would like, you're gonna go to Excel or spreadsheet kapag basic, basic lang yung knowledge mo, right? So, ito yung feature non Airtable, but it's just that, marami kang features na added, um, maraming mas pwedeng magawa. You can also change the, the user interface into a Kanban, which I'm going to discuss later on as well. But just to give you a view or a hint or overview of it, kapag ka order management, e-commerce, fulfillment, supply chain, Airtable yan guys, for sure. Kung hindi naman, nasa Monday sila. But if they are running marketing or ads agency, madalas nasa Monday. Kung kilala nila si ClickUp, then they're gonna go for ClickUp. Jira and Confluence, again, uulitin ko lang, this is for IT. Okay, IT or software development. Trello, pwede yan sa IT, pwede yan sa customer service, pwede yan sa blogger, pwede yan sa uh, marketing, blogging, content curation, data mining, marami. Marami ang uh, Trello. Ganun din sa iba. But Bitrix, itong nasa dulo. Bitrix that is focused more on sales funnel and marketing. Um, it can create campaigns kasi CRM siya. CRM with built-in project management tool. Alright, so guys, I'm gonna cut this out kasi we're already reaching the 15 minutes um, benchmark. So, stay tuned on the part 3 of this video. Meron pa tayo mga susunod. And yung link dun sa part 3 of the video, kasi tuloy-tuloy naman yung recording ko, makikita nyo lang dun sa caption nitong video sa YouTube. Okay, just go to the video in YouTube or I'm gonna put it on the caption in our Facebook group. Okay, stay tuned.